fighting yourself to maintain positivity is the hardest fight you ever gonna have, right? And it's like that struggle to just stay my course, to, you know, be the person in the world that that I wanted to be no matter what people said. And it was, uh, uh, I started to call it offensive positivity, mm-hmm. right? Like, you know, I wasn't gonna be on defense with my positivity. I was gonna be on offense with it. Yeah, Rastafero. Blessings of homeless family. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Akeem Pierre. If you're new, welcome to the vibes. Y'all, it's been a while. It's been a long time. Man's have been moving through it, going through it. And today's video is all about maintaining that level of positivity, maintaining that level of high vibration. And this is one of the most important things. And as Will Smith said in the intro, it's going to be one of the most difficult things that you can do in your life. And that's to maintain positivity amongst all the negativity, amongst all the resistance in the world. And this is especially important for us because if you're listening to this, you're on a certain mission in your life. You're looking to enhance your life. You're looking to enhance the life of those around you, rewrite generational traumas and stories, and really bring forward a new narrative. You may be wanting to become an entrepreneur. You may be wanting to bring value into this world. Like I speak to a lot of y'all and a lot of y'all are up to amazing and epic things. But just know that when you're trying to do something new, anytime you're trying to do something new, anything that's not conforming with society, anything that is really trying to bring you up to your higher self and merge with that higher self instead of that lower self, you're gonna meet that resistance. And we gotta be able to fight and be on the offense for that positivity because our missions are so important and we need to be able to maintain that level of vibration, that level of energy to bring forward the results that we want in this world. And for me, this is really, it's really important message because a lot of the times I'm stuck and I'm held up and I'm just not working or creating because I let the outside resistance, negativity get to my positivity. And when I say positivity, I don't mean like, oh, huh, so happy, ooh, he's such a smiley guy. When I say positivity, I just mean you. Like, you are positivity because you are the value. You are the thing that when you create and when you bring forward your gifts, you're bringing forward something that is not ever anywhere else in the world. That's your uniqueness. So when I say positivity, I don't mean all happy and smiles. I just mean you're cultivating self and you're doing what you got to do to bring forward the best of yourself. And we got to fight towards that because society, everything in our programming, at least in my programming growing up, is conform, is follow, is copy, is be a worker. Don't question things. Just listen up and follow suit and be productive for someone else's dreams. You can dream, but once you wake up, you got to go to someone else's dreams. Like that's how it is. So we got to be able to move through that. And for me, I had a time when I was allowing a lot of the, the, the negativity or the, it's not even like it's a bad thing, but the people who care for me in my life to put their limits and their like projections upon me. And they're just trying to be nice. They're just trying to protect me. You know, my mom just doesn't want to see me sad. She used to see me lose all the time when I was playing basketball and I would cry. And I know she didn't like that. So she doesn't want to see me lose. Right? So she's trying to protect me. But we got to be able to see through that and we got to be able to be clear on our vision, our mission, and go towards our mission and go towards our vision and our purpose. And I'm so grateful for y'all. I just want to say I'm so grateful for y'all because at a time in my life where I was transitioning and I was going into stepping into a teacher role, a creator role, a sharing role, an entrepreneurship role, a spirit led being role. A lot of people in my life close to me, they didn't see the vision. They didn't see where I was going. I was that weirdo. I was that like hippie guy out there like, you know, just let him do his thing. So no one was really there supporting me and showing that love. Few people were. And when I was creating content and I was out there putting it out for y'all, y'all really supported me. Y'all really pushed me. Y'all really let me know that what I'm doing is bringing value and is bringing that light to y'all and is actually helping y'all. So that really helped me a lot. So it's so, I'm so grateful for y'all for doing that. And it's so important when we look at that to find an environment 
where people want to see you grow. People want to see you develop and thrive. So we got to be able to cultivate our lives every moment, every day to bring forward that positivity or bring forward that sense of self and that, that sense of a mission and a purpose. And this is something that I do daily, whether it's waking up my rising ritual, my morning routine, boom, every day I'm cultivating, reading, meditating, journaling, going outside for a walk, moving my body, making sure I'm spreading love and cultivating gratitude and planning my day and preparing for any negativity that may come in my day. Every day I do that. Every day I'm aware, what kind of energies do I have in my life? What kind of conversations am I having? Who am I speaking to on the daily? How are we, how are we speaking to each other? Is it uplifting? Does it make me want to go out and get it after we talk? Or what's my energy level once I'm gone? You know, how is the thoughts? How am I talking to myself? Are my thoughts uplifting? Are they nurturing? If not, we got to really replace those. And that's when it's like on the offense. You can't just let a, a thought sit in your mind and not check it. Not be like, nah, I don't like that. You said, I'm not ready to start? I'm going to correct that. I'm going to say, I'm ready to start right now. And I'm going to start today. We change that thought. That's the offensive nature of it. So we got to be able to look around our life and scan our life. And if something isn't in line with us nurturing that, that positivity, that sense of self, we got to be able to replace it. We got to be able to make that change. And I'm telling y'all, it's going to be challenging because comfort is so awesome. Like, it's so amazing to be comfortable, it's so chilling. I don't want to change everything. Everything is blessed. Why change? Right? But we got to be able to have that vision and see our greatness and see where we're going. And we got to be able to be diligent and disciplined with our change. And we got to be able to change our habits. Like changing your habits is one of the most difficult things that we can do. But that is how you really cultivate that positivity, cultivate and manifest whatever it is that you want in this life. It's really through your habits. They say like you, it's who are, who am I? Like it's hard to figure out who you are as a being, but really you are just your habits. You are what you do on the daily. So what are we doing on the daily? We got to cultivate those habits that are going to bring forward our best self. And this is something that we got to be really mindful of. Like Tony Robbins says, we got to be, look for the weeds. Like if we're growing a garden, there's going to be weeds that pop up and we got to look for them and we got to pull them out and pick them and throw them away. We got to tend to our garden. So what kind of weeds are in your mind? The weeds are the, the thoughts that are not uplifting. The weeds are the people who come around you who don't give you that life, don't give you that, that good vibe. You don't really feel good around them. The weeds are when you go out and you pick the food that makes you feel lethargic and makes you feel bad because you just really don't want to be eating that anymore. You got to pick those out, that mindset, those beliefs that aren't putting you in that direction of where you want to go. We got to be able to pull those weeds out and we got to be active on it because the positive, uplifting, high vibrations, we got to cultivate the negative, the low vibes, that just comes at default. Y'all look around, y'all turn on the news, y'all listen to music, y'all just go and talk to random people. The low vibrational energy is abundant. So if we just sit back passive and chilling, that's what's gonna be around us. So we know that, we gotta be active in it and actively knowing that we're cultivating this high vibrational energy. And that's because we have a vision and a vision, a mission of what we wanna do. If you want to change the way you're eating, change your lifestyle, you're going to need to cultivate that positive vision and that image. If you're looking to bring forward a business, if you want to create and become an entrepreneur, you're going to have to manif you're going to have to create that positive vision and you're going to have to bring that into this this moment. You're going to have to bring forward that that positivity and that light. Whatever it is that you're looking to bring forward, you're going to have to cultivate that high vibrational energy. And I'm going to leave y'all with something that we'll go into in future videos. But when we're looking to get certain results in our life, we may look at, well, look at what I'm doing. Look at the actions. It's not getting the result because I'm not doing that. But a mentor of mine taught me that it's not the actions that lead to the results, really. It's the beliefs that lead to the emotions that lead to the actions, which lead to the results. And that's bare. So your beliefs lead to your emotions, which lead to your actions, which lead to your results. So what do you believe? Do you believe you're worth it? 
Do you believe you're valuable? Do you believe that adjusting your lifestyle and the way you eat is actually going to make you feel better and is actually going to bring more ease and joy into your life? Do you believe that bringing forward this business is going to bring value to people and is going to help and impact the world like you thought it is? If you don't believe it, then you're going to not feel good. Your emotions aren't going to be in line. If your emotions aren't in line with your vision, then your actions aren't going to be aligned and then your results are going to be off, right? So these are just how we manifest. This is a framework of manifestation, but it all, cult it all starts with cultivating that sense of self and that positivity of self and being active and aggressive with it. As we're nice, good vibe people, we just think we got to be chill and passive and zen out. Nah, we aggressive with it. We going after it. And this is ours and we're gonna go get it. All right, y'all? So I'm giving thanks. We here, we returning to the consistent content. I'm so excited for this next phase with y'all. I'm so excited to see all your projects and see all of y'all manifesting your projects and changing your lifestyles and just bringing forward a, a new way of approaching family, approaching relationships. I'm so excited for all of the visions and the missions that y'all have. You know, share some of that below. What are y'all looking to manifest? What are y'all looking to cultivate? We're going to be working on that a lot more now. We're going to be going into entrepreneurship. Of course, we're going to stay with the food, the recipes, all that content. And y'all, I'm just excited. So share this video with a friend. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And catch me on the next one, y'all. We're doing weekly videos. So I'll see y'all soon. All right? Just Rastafero.